You're watching CTV News Channel. I'm Brad Giffen. Good to have you here. It is day number five in the end of our holiday countdown week. We've been trying to prepare you for Christmas, and tonight we're going to get some tips on travel, trips for shopping and trips for relaxation in some nice resort somewhere. And doing that with us tonight is Jeff Walker. He's the Vice President and Chief Strategy Officer for the Canadian Automobile Association. He joins us tonight from Ottawa. And Jeff, this is Black Friday in the United States, prime time for shoppers in the U.S. and bargain hunting Canadians. Let's start by talking about what Canadians crossing the border this weekend should keep in mind. Well, there are two or three things really important to keep in mind this weekend. One of them is that the rules have changed now in terms of when you cross the border, you've got to have a passport. So really important, even though you're driving, make sure you bring your passport if you decide to go over the border and, and get, some, get some stuff for Christmas. The second thing to remember is that some of the limits have changed in terms of uh, how much you can bring back duty-free. Uh, the limits are now $750 for a seven-day visit and $400 for a 48-hour visit. So that, they're actually a little bit higher than they were. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good change, right? What was it, bef it, is what a was good it change. before? It used to be 200 bucks for the weekend, and so it's up to 400 now. So there you go. That's a few more Christmas presents that everybody <laughs> can get. Travel planning now. If my destination is a warm resort someplace in the south, I'm going to find some bargains this year, as it turns out. And you say my planning should begin right on the Internet. Absolutely. And, and it, 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 whether it's planning for the, you know, the trip itself and the places you're going to go to get there, or whether it's the, you know, the day you go, remembering to do things like check in on the web, doing things like checking to see if your flight is delayed. You can do these things in real time right up to the time you get to the airport and probably cut down the amount of time you need to be in the airport. Planning in advance, how important is that? Well, it's really important, you know, whether it's, again, you never know what it can be like at a certain point in time where all of a sudden a uh, place gets hot and gets really busy. And if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a reservation, it can be stressful for people, you know, even getting in and out of airports. If you haven't got it organized about your shuttle or whatever, a rental car, yeah. then that's another stressor that people just don't need. Wisely packing. We've all heard about people having to shell out extra money to get that extra bag on board the plane. Packing wisely is going to accomplish that. It is. I mean, there's two things that have to be remembered. One is that airlines are now more often charging for extra bags, so it might cost you an extra 50 bucks that you didn't know you had to pay if you bring back too many bags. The second thing to remember is that a lot of times, uh, if you have an overweight bag, you have to pay more. In both cases, uh, not to mention, of course, your back carrying stuff all through airports. So we really tell people, be careful with what you pack and only pack what you need. Leave, uh, leaving at different times of the day can also be a benefit for you as well. Absolutely. Airports are obviously busy at this time of year, so if you leave in the morning early or maybe late in the, late in the day, that tends to be just a little bit less busy mm -hmm. at airports than, uh, say, midday. And, and some of these are pretty obvious. I mean, bringing activities along to entertain the kids as you go, uh, remembering your passport, as you mentioned. I guess it's pretty surprising how many people do forget their passport and even their plane tickets. But fortunately, of course, you can just go to the counter and most tickets are issued right there at the airport. But here's one that surprised me. Agents can be a big help when you're booking these things. And frankly, I'm so used to booking my uh, vacations or travels uh, via an internet website, but you're saying uh, travel experts at travel agencies can actually be uh, a big help now. Well, absolutely. Especially, let's say you're online at a website and you're trying to figure out what day you might go to somewhere and it's taking you long periods of time to reload, oh, I want to do it this day or at this time. Travel agents are very quick at doing these things and can usually give you answers very quickly. In a lot of cases, they also know little tricks and little places that really can make your trip uh, fantastic in the place you go. So if you talk to a CAA travel agent, you'll see that you'll learn a lot about uh, some of the places you want to go that you might not have found just surfing for yourself. Yeah, and you're also uh, suggesting that uh, we travel on holidays. The actual day well, of the holiday is a, is a quiet day to travel. It is a, a quiet day to travel. It's interesting. Christmas Day is a, actually a very quiet day to travel if people are comfortable enough to do that. The other interesting thing is that on, for example, on U.S. Thanksgiving, a lot of the hotels in the U.S. and the South are empty because everybody's at their family's place for 
uh, for dinner. So you can get a pretty good deal at hotels sometimes. Well, that's terrific. We've got about a dozen tips there that are going to be valuable to anyone traveling, whether it's south of the border this weekend for Black Friday shopping weekend uh, sprees or for anyone planning a, an adventure south this week, uh, this winter. Uh, valuable tips for getting the most out of the holiday season. CAA travel expert Jeff Walker, appreciate you speaking with us. Thank you very much. Coming up, we're going to be at the movies with Richard Krauss, one of the picks this week, the fantastic Mr. Fox. Stay with us. Don't do that. Why'd you take your shoes off? So I don't break your nose when I kick it. <laughs> 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 